Alright, a few friends of mine got me into this game, which you can find on Facebook if you're so inclined. But, <clears throat> anyway, let's just uh, show off what it's all about. It's called Candy Crush Saga. This is the second level in the game. It's a pretty simple match three game, really. My goal for this level is to get a certain number of points in a few 15 moves. Every switch you make has to line up at least three panels. And then they'll just vanish. Now let's see here. If you line up if you line up four, then uh, well if you line up a horizontal group of four, you get this little piece. Which when it matches, it explodes a vertical line. Line up a vertical four and Never mind, I guess it functions differently with chains. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just keep making a few moves. Oh, looks like I passed the level. I've got a few more moves to try to score some points, so let's just see if I can do anything else here. Boop. 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 Sweet. Cross makes a thing that explodes. A cross or a T or an L shape. Sweet. As you can see, I've gotten 74,000 on that level before because I've gotten really, really lucky. And that brings me into my next thing. I'm going to show a level that I've been stuck on for a little bit. 33. Here we have to clear some jelly. Notice we've only got 14 moves. Notice that the grid is divided into four sections here. And the pieces will fall through from here to here. Well, actually I think you can't see my mouse cursor. Whatever. Um, yeah, each of these little jelly tiles here in the corners have to be hit twice. You have to clear panels on them twice to break them. You've only got 14 moves for this. This requires an inordinate amount of luck. And that brings me to what this game is about. It's about luck. The game gives you a couple free boosters, like this one, which I can use to break one piece on the board, just remove a piece. But once you use those free boosters, they're gone. And you have to uh, buy them. Like, okay, this one right here lets you paint stripes on a candy once per game. So, once per round, you can turn one into a striped line exploder. It costs $40. Yeah, for $40, I could buy a full-length game for my 3DS. The last full-length game I bought for my 3DS was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, and I got over 100 hours of play out of that game, and it was really fun. I enjoyed it. This blows my mind. This really... This idea just really frustrates me. Let's just try playing this level and see if I can manage to pass it. Look at this. We've got a... Look at this. This side over here is a tank... This top left corner is a tangled mess now. I can't really get anything done over there. And with so few moves, if, it, if any of the corners get locked up like that, you're just done. That's it. You'll just have to lose a life and wait for your lives to come back. And you get five lives, and they take 30 minutes apiece to replenish. So yeah, the only thing you can really do is just keep... is either... A. Throw lots of money at the game in order to get these things to increase your chances, or B. Just keep trying over and over and over until you get lucky enough. It's a really fun game, but you just gotta walk into it knowing that it's gonna be really frustrating and you're just gonna have to spend a lot, put a lot of time or a lot of money into it if you wanna get far. See, I'm already down to five moves. I've still got a large number of pieces left. I'm probably doomed. Especially since looking at it further, my entire left side of the board, I can't touch it. There's no moves over there. Not through no fault of my own. 
I couldn't do anything about that. That's just what happened to happen. So, let's just keep clearing panels. Boop. Oh, I got one move left. And look at all the stuff left on the left side that I can't reach. That's it, I'm done. I didn't even hit the score, but I probably would have if I had broken all the tiles. And with that, that's it, I'm done. There goes a the life. Try again, I got three lives left. Let's see if I can get lucky enough this time. This looks nice. Let's see here. And... Do I want the... F hmm. There is a bit of skill involved, a little bit that. Sometimes you want to think about what might be the best thing to do. The top left corner looks like it's ruined, but fortunately I can drop things through the bottom here. See, that might have changed something up here. Ding. Gets me a striped exploder, but it's in a place that doesn't really help. Well, it would help if I could set it off. See, I'm already down to six moves. The move limit for this level is extremely tight. Keep an eye on that top up there. Did you look at that? I've only got two moves left. Three panels left. Couldn't hit them. Sure, if I wanted to get five more moves, I could throw a dollar at it. But why would I do that? Because for all I know, I could get unlucky and still not pass the level, and then the dollar would just be gone. <coughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm just expressing my frustration about this game. Like I said, if you can pl if you play this game, expect to have some fun, but also expect to get frustrated a whole lot. Let's keep going until I'm out of lives. Or I pass a level, whichever. Take care of the top left. Hmm, got lucky. Didn't have to burn another move. But I've still got all this left and only five moves. This level's beyond brutal, and it doesn't help that you can't make any straight lines of five, because that would allow you to get a thing that if you switched it with something, it removes an entire color from the screen. This level is designed to not let that ever happen. So you have to get lucky with the striped line exploders, really. Maybe you could get a cross L bomb and match it with one of those, and then you'd explode a whole section of the screen and get lucky. Like I said, luck, 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 luck. Luck that I don't seem to have. I got three quarters of the way there. And see, if you get down to one live, the game starts trying to throw advertisements at you. It says, here, buy our thing. Only $40. No. If I get my hands on some money saved up, it's gonna go into. Ooh, what's this? A cross bomb. That might help. Let's see. Here, perhaps?
The top left, the only move up there is useless. The bottom left is jammed. Well, it's got a move in it, but it's useless. Excuse me, my uh, recording time limit so rudely interrupted me. Let's see here. Still got nine moves and nothing to do with it. I could make this. Drop some new panels into the screen. With only five moves left and the entire left side of my screen jammed, this isn't probably isn't gonna happen. Now look, I got one move left, but there's no way I'm gonna get rid of all that jelly. I mean, if I could somehow get the bomb down there and set it off, but there's a, no way I can do that with one move. I'm done. And just like that, I'm out of lives. I'll have to wait another two and a half hours to get five more chances. That's what happens. Yep, okay. Well, I've shown off what this game can do to your sanity. Let's take a look here and take a look at the map. Let's see, do 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 do. 45, I see, um, okay. Boop. There's my dad. Oh, he looks like he got past 90 and is on to 91. Just keep scrolling. I still wonder what these are. These pink checkmark levels. I wonder what the goal for those is. Well, I suppose the first one to tell me is probably gonna be dad when he works his way up there. What's the first checkmark level? Looks like it's... 126. As soon as you get up here, it just starts throwing you, throwing them at you left and right. So, yeah. Oh, look, more levels. Come on, then. Boop. 192. 260. It keeps going. Nice color of red. More and more and more. 350. It keeps going. Currently, they have 380 levels made. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 380 is a jelly level. I wonder what horrible, horrible terrors are waiting there. But, as you can see, they've made... There's a lot of levels. There's a lot to this game. So if you're really, really patient and you keep chugging away at it, it you could have a lot of fun with this game. Let's take a look and see what there's for sale. This, 19 credits. I have... No idea what that. Not sure exactly what that translates to. It's probably a dollar ninety-nine. See over here, like for ten dollars, you could get this: a giant pack of boosters. These charms, permanent boost buffs things. This will increase your maximum lives. It costs seventeen dollars. That one, the stripe charm thingy, costs forty dollars. This one freezes time for a little while during time levels. Costs twenty-five dollars. Then again, I haven't seen a time level that's actually threatening yet, so... Actually, time levels are pretty simple. I want to go back down and see one. Which means I have to, unfortunately, scroll all the way back down there. Could take another look at the uh, lovely colors on the map. Ooh, nice purple. The game also has a neat little story associated with it, which is kind of cool. Eh. 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 Let's see here. The first time level is level 20. Oh right, I have no lives, I can't even play a level. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, more ads. Uh, I'm sorry, I just get frustrated with how much they ask you for. Ugh. Well, I've said my part, so let's just end this right here.